All right. Um, so I wasn't really planning on making a video on this car yet uh, until I uh, sourced some new rear shocks, but this is a PB Maxima. Um, it's, uh, I think this came out before the PB Ace uh, and after the PB Mini Mustang. Um, it's sort of a, this is an odd bird as well, uh, in my opinion, but it's, I guess, a part of RC history. So we'll take a look at it. Anyways, um, I, this, this video will be pretty short. Um, there's a, there's a lot going on on this car that needs attention. Um, and you can see I don't have a spur right now. I think I actually have it, but it's not installed. Um, uh, been through the, the bottom um, chassis and uh, replaced all the old beat up screws with uh, these little uh, um, hex heads uh, they are flat so um, that seems pretty sturdy the bumper here needs some attention um, these are pretty flimsy really so it's holding on but I'm sure one impact and it'd be a goner it's kind of cracked here you can see that but that's pretty common i made 3d print one of those both arms have a little metal bracket you can see um where the uh, uh sway bar or any roll bar goes through the arm um these little brackets kind of keep them from flexing too much but they're both cracked right there where they go in and i don't know if that's just something happened or it's just a poor design there um Mike, same guy who sold me the uh, PBAs, sold me this car as well. He tried to give me as many parts as he could with it. And overall, it's not in terrible shape for, for an old runner. Um, I found some new shocks and they've got oil and I just assembled those. So they're, they're in good shape. Uh, the drivetrain itself seems to be smooth. Um, the belts okay although I haven't been able to run it so I don't know if it slips or not but it feels feels okay um, I don't know if this tensioner is set correctly right now but um, again I haven't been able to run it yet um, so a couple parts have already 3d printed uh, these rear uh, hinge pin blocks um, they were kind of homemade out of aluminum when I got the car and they were pretty rough so I uh, had Shapeways print those up in plastic seem to be um, seem like those are gonna be okay uh, same on that side there um, pretty sturdy it's kind of odd how it how that all mounts together anyways um, and then this rear uh, hinge pin and uh, tie rod block um, 3D printed that as well. Someone had notched off a, a lower piece here on the original, and so the hinge pin just was barely holding in the block there. So that's all solid now, but you might be able to tell. The main issue I'm having now is these old rear shocks are just very worn out. Now they don't have any oil in them right now, so that may be why they kind of want to dance back and forth it just seems like there's a ton of slop um, so I guess my next couple of videos will be on uh, I'm gonna draw this up in CAD I've partially drawn it up but I need to disassemble one of these original shocks to be able to get the uh, inner in internal dimensions um, and I'm gonna have Shapeways print up some uh, shock bodies um, and I think really the only change I'm gonna to make to the design is um, if I pull this spring down, you can see that instead of having like a C clip or E clip or something, it's got these uh, two little, um, I don't know if you call them a cotter pin or, or just a rolled pin that kind of slides through each side of the shock body to uh, keep this, uh, I don't know if you want to call that a, a cap or whatever from, right, keeps it in place. And so 
Um, if you want to take this shock apart, uh, it's a little bit of a pain. Also, it tends to want to come apart on its own at the wrong time. So anyways, you can see how that shock just kind of acts a little strange. So anyhow, I'm going to try to, I'm going to take one of those shocks off. Um, and maybe I'll show some footage of the, of the CAD work and then, um, We'll send it off to Shapeways and get a new one. But anyways, uh, I really would love to run this car. Um, it's very, very lightweight. Um, pretty strong overall. This, um, surprisingly, uh, this little uh, plastic tunnel chassis design is quite rigid. Uh, the car doesn't flex a lot. Um, it's, uh, yeah, surprisingly strong. Uh, these uh, shock towers they're probably one of the weakest parts on the on the car but uh, I think if I get some smoother shock action they'll be they'll be fine uh, again um, PB max uh, PB maxima um, we're gonna make some new rear shocks or if I screw that up I'll just get some maybe some Kyosho golds or platinums or something because again I really want to run the car uh, one other thing that needs some attention I think I think the universals in the front are not the same on both sides I think I might have an oddball uh, on one side but anyways we'll, we'll get there when we get there all right, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to get another video out pretty soon.